What's your favorite color? I think I have two favorites, red and green. Actually, most of my clothes are either red or green. Uh, my phone case is even red as well. I think that's because I've always been a fan of bright colors. Do you like dark colors? I only like dark colors like brown or navy. I have some jeans made with dark denim, but apart from that, I'm not a big fan of black or gray because I think they're a little bit drab and forgettable. Are there any colors you dislike? For me, maybe pink or yellow. I've never really liked those colors. And when I see adults wearing yellow and pink, I think they look a bit childish. I know that they're very popular colors, but that's just my opinion. Do you usually wear clothes in your favorite color? Yes, I do. Every time I go clothes shopping, I usually end up buying something green or red. So I have plenty of red and green shirts because I think they suit me and look good on me. And they also look professional uh, because they're not over the top or too bright and vivid. What is your favorite color? The color makes me feel calm and relaxed, peaceful and quiet, warm and happy, at ease, tranquil and serene. Green is the color that reminds me of nature. It's the color of many trees and plants. To me, green represents life and nature. Blue is the color of the sea and the sky. It's also the color of jeans. Red represents passion, bravery and festivity. It is the color of the national flag of China as well as the traditional color for weddings and brides or grooms. It is also the most preferred color for holidays and celebrations in China. White represents purity and cleanliness. White shirts are the most appropriate for any occasions. Black is the color of pants and suits for men and women. It looks sharp or professional when wearing it at the workplace. It is also the typical color for funerals. Are colors important to you? Yeah, sure. Colors can affect our mood. Some people say brightly colored clothes make us feel calm and relaxed, while dark colored clothes are more suitable for formal occasions. Also, I would say it's an art to combine the colors of your dress, especially for ladies, the shirt, dress or the skirt and the jewelry. These can certainly make a difference in front of others. Were colors important to you when you were a child? Well, I don't remember very clearly now. I guess I didn't pay much attention to it. But I was quite picky about the color of sports shoes I wore. I liked red sneakers or running shoes when I was in high school, since my best friend Tony had one pair. Do you prefer light colors or dark colors? Well, it really depends on the things you're talking about. Each color may possess different meanings to us, and there are so many colors out there. For example, for home decoration, you need unity and also contrast. For fashion or clothes, there are various norms and traditions depending on the occasions you are in. So I guess there are individual preferences as well as special tastes. What colors will you not have in your home? I will probably try to stay away from those flashy colors of furniture or housewares, like sofa or floorings. I don't like any black, orange or pink colored stuff at home. My favorite color for furniture is burgundy or maroon. If we talk about my favorite color, I would like to be surrounded by green. You know what? Almost every time when I work for three hours straight, I need to look out the window at the green plants, such as the grasses and many kinds of leaves. Besides, whenever I get holidays, 
the best choice for me is to get as close to nature as possible. I think green as a signature color of the nature, it could help me to relieve eye strain and fatigue. Please believe me, you will feel comfortable if you choose to try to keep away from the electric products and touch something in green. What colors get special meaning in China? Red in the Chinese culture is a basic esteem color. In the Chinese's mind, it signifies excitement, success, luck, loyalty, and flourish. In Chinese traditional wedding, people put up the character, the bride is dressed in red, the bridegroom wears a red flower on his breast. On happy days, people decorate their houses with red lanterns and doublets, which means to be prosperous. Do you think the color of the environment can influence people's mood? Sure, the color of the environment affects people in many ways, depending on one's age, gender, ethnic background or local climate. So when it comes to decorating, it is important to choose wisely. Understand that colors behave in three basic ways, active, passive and neutral. You can easily match every room's colors to your personal desires, to your taste and to the room's purpose. Light colors are expansive and airy, making rooms seem larger and brighter. Dark colors are sophisticated and warm, they give large rooms a more intimate appearance. What color do you like? I like white the most, because white is pure and spotless. It stands for selfless love, as in Western countries, brides always wear white dresses in the wedding. More importantly, I can see white snow everywhere in my hometown because winter often lasts for six months. I like many colors, but my favorite color would be red. In China, red associates with enthusiasm, life, and passion, which can remind me my favorite festival, the Spring Festival. During that time, people would like to wear something red in the hope that it can bring them good luck in the next year. And uh, the Chinese bride would like to wear red clothes in the wedding. So, the color red represents happy occasions. What is your favorite color? Um, well, so frankly speaking, my favorite color would be quite like um, positive and also can connect me to the nature itself. Um, and besides, whenever I look into it, it would connect me to the sun. Well, then yellow is one of my favorite ones. And also another color would remind me of my first love. And also it's quite innocent. Then white color for I send white roses to my uh, wife sometime. Uh, there are any colors you dislike? All right. Um, so to be honest with you, the color I dislike would be quite disgusting. Um, Any time I think of it, it would just remind me of the excrement um, or waste, right? So dark brown uh, was one of them. It's one of them. Uh, and also another color I'm quite disliked with, kind of girly. I won't never buy clothes in that color too. Um, so I won't buy any color either. So uh, pink is another color that I dislike. Are colors important to you? Um, well, <clears throat> from my understanding, color is actually the basic pigments um, of different substance, right? So it's the way for me to understand whether they are dangerous or not, or maybe the features of themselves. And besides, it's the way for me to understand the world. I just cannot imagine a world without colors, what that would be like. Um, therefore, color would be extremely essential for me. Were colors important to you when you were a child? Um, so, as far as I remember, um, when I was a child, um, I was quite like insensitive to color. Um, well, therefore, it would be a way for me to develop my eyesight and also the sense um, sensitivity for uh, the pigments around surround me. 
um, and also I would be quite like innocent. Didn't know a lot about the world itself, and also colors would be a way for me to find out、uh, the、uh, the the places、um, which I live. Well, so I would believe is really important for me. They were really important to me when I was a kid. When you were buying something, is the color important to you? Well, so、mm, basically. The things I'm going to buy means I would use it quite frequently. Well,、um, therefore, the colors of it not only impact myself,、uh, maybe my mood, right, and also that would、um, give certain impressions for、um, my friends, maybe whoever sees I'm using it, right. Well, therefore, they would also could distinguish, maybe tell my. Character and also my、um, taste on that color. Well, so、um, it's really important to me when I purchase and doing the purchasing、um, of the color. Do you usually wear clothes in your favorite color?、Um, well, so personally, for those clothes I wear, it would be、um, some of the garments that I put on myself to. Protect my body, and also to show my personality. Well, so、um, that would be a way for to just impact, maybe to lighten myself、um, on the mood. Well,、um, and also that could tell others what my、uh, characteristic、uh, char- characteristics are. Well, so I would definitely wear my favorite color. Is color very important to you when you are buying clothes? Also, for the clothes I'm going to buy, for sure, I would dress them quite frequently, and also it will be a way to show myself,、um, maybe to represent <coughs> my personality. All right.、Um, yeah. So therefore, it will be very important to me, or it will be just a waste of money. Do you prefer light or dark color? Right. So light color, there are、um, actually clothes, maybe those colors, which represent certain outgoing feelings, and also in the hot summer, wearing clothes in light color would give me a certain, a just better chance to reduce the body heat by reflecting the sunshine, but. Um, well, therefore, I do prefer it light color. Are there any colors have that have a special meaning here in China? So, um, well, so, um, from my standpoint of view, China is a traditional country that with a lot of、um, festival and also holidays, and in each one of them, one color will be quite of popular and also used quite frequently to decorate the uh. Uh, maybe the celebrative scene, celebration side would be red. For red, represent a certain、um, happy and lucky feeling here in China. For in ancient time, we usually we killed animals to worship gods with their blood. And however, after civilization, we couldn't do that anymore. Well, therefore, we used the color red to replace it. Well, so that's why it has those kind of special meaning. And besides another color,、uh, would be quite like、um, important, and also only the royal family in the past、uh, could use it. It represents a certain classy and also、um, superior feeling.、Uh, so it's the、um, yellow, all right. So those are the colors that kind of、um, uh, special here in our culture. What color would you choose to paint the wall? Of your room, all right.、Um, so, room or my bedrooms are places which I would spend a lot of time in there. Maybe to do some relaxation, or even、um, just to study. Well, therefore,、uh, the colors that I would choose to paint the wall should be quite of、uh, warm, and also、um, it would help me to. Get a reflection, impressions. Well, so light yellow or maybe white. Do you think different types of people like different colors? Ah,、uh, well, so in my opinion, 
different types of people means individuals that they have different gender. Um, therefore, they would have different preferences, and also they might in different ages. Right? This would prove that they also have different kinds of、um, experiences. Um, all of those factors would cause the different preference on their、um, choice when it comes to color. Well, so、um, definitely different people, or maybe different、um, preference, they would have the、uh, options on、um, various of colors as well. Okay, let's listen to colors part one. What's your favorite color? I think I have two favorites: red and green. Actually, most of my clothes are either red or green, and my phone case is even red as well. I think that's because. Okay, so we have an answer, we have an example, we have a reason. So we can see a clear structure here. I've always been a fan of bright colors. Fair enough. Do you like dark colors? I only like dark colors like brown or navy. I have some jeans made with dark denim, but apart from that, I'm not a big fan of black or grey because I think they're a little bit drab and forgettable. Okay, so again, the same structure: short, simple but effective. So here's the answer: I like dark colors. Example: jeans made with dark denim, and. The reason I think they're drab and unforgettable. And drab is such a wonderful adjective to use when you talk about colors, like boring and dull. Are there any colors you dislike? For me, maybe pink or yellow. For me, well, the question says, are there any colors you dislike? For me, <laughs> yeah. The question is asking about you. For me, maybe pink or yellow. I've never really liked those colors, and when I see adults wearing yellow and pink, I think they look a bit childish. I know that they're very popular colors, but that's just my opinion. Fair enough. Do you usually wear clothes in your favorite color? Yes, I do. Every time I go clothes shopping, I usually end up buying something green or red. So I have plenty of red and green shirts because I think they suit me and look good on me, and they also look professional、uh, because they're not over the top or too bright and vivid. Okay, so this guy is pretty consistent in the pattern he uses. Some good adjectives here at the end. We've got vivid. So like bright, and then over the top, well, over the top would be too noticeable or too bright, something that stands out too much. Whoa! What happened here? What is your favorite color? The color makes me feel. <laughs> I guess here you're supposed to insert whatever color it is you're talking about. Calm and relaxed, peaceful and quiet, warm and happy. Man, too many adjectives. What is going on here? At ease, tranquil, and serene. <laughs> What? <laughs> okay. Green is the color that reminds me of nature.、Uh -huh. It's the color of many trees and plants. To me, green represents life and nature. Blue is the color of the sea. And what is going on here now? Is he just going to go on and talk about every attribute of every color? Sky. It's also the color of jeans. <laughs> Is that an important point? Red represents passion, bravery, and festivity. It is the color of the national flag of China, as well as the traditional color for weddings and brides or grooms. Grooms wear red. I didn't know that. I mean, I guess maybe they do. Who knows? <clears throat> anyway,、uh, yeah, the traditional color for weddings. This is a nice idea. Better than the jeans, I guess. It is also the most preferred color for holidays and celebrations in China. The preferred color for holidays and celebrations. I'm not quite sure what that means, but all right.
White represents purity and cleanliness. Is he just going through all the colors now? White shirts are the most appropriate for any occasions. This should be any occasion, not any occasions. But what is the concept of shirts? What does that have to do with purity and cleanliness? Oh my goodness, black is the color of pants. Pants are the most appropriate for any occasions. Black is the color of pants and suits for men and women. Okay, that's a pretty bizarre example. It looks sharp or professional when wearing it at the workplace. All right, I do like the sharp. I mean, if you look sharp, you look very nice, you look very professional, good adjective. It is also the typical color for funerals. <laughs> okay, what, what a contrast going from looking nice in the workplace to funerals. <clears throat> Are colors important to you? Yeah, it's sure. What? The question is, are colors important? Yeah, it sure. It sure is. It sure what? It sure. Colors can affect our mood. Some people say brightly colored clothes make us feel calm and relaxed. Okay. Now, this is clearly a written down response to the guy is reading but if you sound like this in the test it's going to sound like a memorized response because the examiner is asking you about yourself and you are talking about what other people say colored clothes um cause us to feel that's not what the question is asking affect our mood some people say brightly colored clothes make us feel calm and relaxed while dark colored clothes are more suitable for formal occasions. Such as? What's the example here? Also, I would say it's an art to combine the colors of your dress, especially for ladies. Okay, so are you a lady? I'm not sure. The shirt, dress, or the skirt, and the jewelry. These can certainly make a difference in front of others. really talking around the question. Were colors important to you when you were a child? Well, I don't remember very clearly now. I guess I didn't pay much attention to it. But I was quite picky about the color of sports shoes I wore. And this is much better. Now he's actually talking about himself. I liked red sneakers or running shoes when I was in high school. Sneakers or running shoes okay my best friend Tony had one pair do you prefer light colors or dark colors well it really depends on the things you're talking about well I thought she was talking about colors each color may possess different meanings to us and there are so many colors out there Yeah, everything you say is true, but the word here is you, you, <laughs> again, talking around the question. And there are so many colors out there. For example, for home decoration, you need unity and also contrast. Explain. <laughs> That's not clear to me. I don't know what he's saying here. For fashion or clothes. There are various norms and traditions depending on the occasions you are in. You can be in an occasion. So depending on the occasion. And there's no you are in in this sentence. Depending on the occasion. <clears throat> I don't understand what he's saying. I mean, everything he's saying is in English, but I don't understand what the point is. In all clothes, there are various norms and traditions depending on the occasions you are in. Mm -hmm. So, I guess there are individual preferences as well as special tastes. Yeah, and she's asking you about you. What colors will you... Okay, if you answer the question like that, I'm pretty sure the examiner is going to repeat the question because you didn't answer the question. What have in your home? I will probably try to stay away from those flashy colors of furniture or housewares. Again, I don't know what this means. Furniture is not a color, and houseware is not a color. 
Does he mean flashy colors for furniture? He did say of, right? I will probably try to stay away from those flashy colors of furniture or houseware. I think he tried. He, he meant to say four, I think. Like sofa or floorings. What? Is this an example of a color? Like sofa. Sofa is not a color. What is this person trying to say? Like sofa or floorings. I don't like any black, orange, or pink colored stuff at home. My favorite color. Are these the examples of flooring? Furniture is burgundy or maroon. Wow, hard to understand. If we talk about my favorite color, I would like to be surrounded by green. Mm -hmm. You know what? Almost every time when I work for... Okay, a bit of a slurred speech going on here. The hours straight. I do like the three hours straight, so you work without a break, yeah? I need to look out the window at the green plants, such as the grasses and... Mm, why not just say grass, such as the grass? And many kinds of leaves. Kinds, kinds, kinds of leaves. Died whenever I get a holidays. Whenever I am on holiday, or I get some time off. The best choice for me is to get as close to nature as possible. The best choice for me. Why not say what I like to do is to get as close to nature as possible? Nature as possible. I think green as a signature color of the nature. Ooh, the signature, signature color. That's a great phrase. <clears throat> so it's a color that's very characteristic of nature. But then she says the nature, and nature doesn't need the. So green as a signature color of nature. That's good. It could help. Oh, but then she says it here. Well, the subject is green, right? Green. So we don't need this pronoun here. Color of the nature. It could help me to relieve eye strain and. Uh, I think eye strain. Eye strain. Eye strain. Eye strain and fatigue. And the word is fatigue, fatigue. Please believe me, you will feel comfortable if you... Comfortable, you will feel comfortable. Okay, so there's a bit of chunking going on. I mean, after this sentence, let's go back here. Um, or even here. It could help me to relieve eye strain and fatigue. Fatigue, okay. And then there's a pause. Please believe me. Pause again. You will feel comfortable. There's a bit of stress there on will, right? So the chunking is effective. She pauses here, she pauses here. There's some stress on will. The boys, if you choose to try to keep away from the Keep away from trick products and touch something in green. Hmm, okay, maybe just touch something green, not in green, just touch something green. So, yeah, there are some positives to the pronunciation of this lady, even though she mispronounced quite a couple of words. What colors get special meaning in China? Get special meaning? Or have special meaning? Anyway. Red in the Chinese culture is a basic esteem color. In the Chinese's mind, it signifies excitement, success, luck, loyalty, and flourish. Okay. In Chinese traditional wedding, mm, traditional weddings, people put up the character, the bride is dressed in red, the bridegroom wears a red flower on his breast. This is a character? Wow. One character for all of that. On happy days, people decorate their houses with red lanterns and doublets. I don't know about doublets, I know couplets. Is that what he means? I think he means couplets. Which means to be prosperous. Which means to be prosperous. Which means to be prosperous. <clears throat> Which signifies prosperity. Which signifies prosperity. 
Do you think the colour of the environment can influence people's mood? Sure, the colour of the environment affects people in many ways, depending on one's age, gender, ethnic background or local climate. Ethnic background? Does she mean culture? So when it comes to decorating, it is important to choose wisely. Understand that colours behave in three basic ways. What? Active, passive and neutral. Oh boy, I hope she's going to explain this. What is she talking about? You can easily match every room's colours to your personal desires. No, she's just talking past it. What is going on with this? Uh, colours behave in three basic ways. I didn't know that colours had the ability to behave. <laughs> can they also misbehave? I don't know what this means. But she doesn't explain it. She doesn't give examples. So what color is active? What color is passive? What color is neutral? You have to match room's color. Okay, so she goes on to personal desire. <laughs> to your taste and to the room's purpose. Example. Light colors are expansive. Okay, here we go. Examples. Light colors. And airy, making mm -hmm. rooms seem larger and brighter. Dark colors are sophisticated and warm. They give large rooms a more intimate appearance. Okay, the ending is really good. The part about the light colors and dark colors. Middle part, I don't know what she was trying to say there. What color do you like? I like white the most. Because white is pure and spotless. It stands for selfless love, as in Western countries. Western countries? Brides always wear white dresses in the wedding. Yeah, but I don't think they wear white to signify selfless love. The white is supposed to signify purity, not selfless love. Dresses in the wedding. More importantly, I can see white snow everywhere in my hometown because winter often lasts for six months. Mm, it's months. More importantly, more importantly, is it still connected to selfless love or pure spot? Should I mention these things here? Is pure and spotless? Is there a connection between that and snow? I don't know. It doesn't seem well connected to me. What is that idea at the end? Okay, here's another one. I like many colors, but my favorite color would be red mm -hmm. in china red associates with okay the word is associate and the phrase is red is associated with associated with enthusiasm life and passion which can remind me my favorite fest which reminds me of my favorite festival which reminds me the spring festival mm -hmm. during that time okay i don't know about the I mean, she's Chinese. If she wants to say the Spring Festival, <laughs> I guess it's up to her. But I hear a lot of people just say Spring Festival without the the. People would like to wear something red in the hope that it can bring them good luck in the next year. And uh, the Chinese bride would like to wear red clothes in the wedding. So the color red represents happy occasions. Okay, represents happy occasions. I don't know, the good answer, a couple of basic mistakes, but not bad, pretty easy to understand, I think. What is your favorite color? Um, well, so frankly speaking, my... Oh boy. Now, <laughs> colors are hardly controversial. Why do you need to say frankly speaking? <laughs> it's not necessary. Speaking, my favorite color would be quite like um, positive would be quite like positive my favorite color would be quite positive okay drop the like would be quite positive and also can connect me to the name <laughs> oh my goodness he didn't turn his phone off try itself okay nature again there's no the connect uh connect me to nature itself um and besides whenever i look into it it would connect Whenever I look into it, do you look into a color? You just look at a color, right? So when I look at it. To the sun, what? Connect me to the sun. Are we supposed to guess what the color is? Oh, it's yellow. Oh, good grief. Put this in the beginning. It's not a, 
not a guessing game. Just say in the beginning what the color is and then explain why. And yellow is one of my favorite ones. It's one of my favorite ones. And also another color will remind me of my first love. Okay. And also it's quite innocent. Then white color for I sent white roses to my uh, wife sometime. Or some people might even say sometimes. Uh, then white color for I sent. I don't know why this is then here. So the color I like is white because I sometimes see my wife, my wife white roses. The colors you dislike. Uh, let's go back to the beginning of this. Uh, wife, sometime. Uh, there are any colors you dislike? All right. Um, so, to be honest with you, the color I dislike will be quite disgusting. Um, Any time I think of it, it would just remind. Okay, so again, this is a guessing game. What is the color? Is it brown? Me of the excrement um, or waste, right? So. Oh, good grief. I don't know how to feel about this. Anyway, anyway, I think of it, I would just be reminded. Oh, sorry, it would just remind me. Oh, no, 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 this is correct. This is correct. Dark brown. Uh, but the color is brown, not brown. Brown. Is one of them. Is, is one. Oh, he corrects himself. Oh, okay, never mind. One of them. Uh, and also, another color I'm quite dislike. There's no B verb, because dislike is a main verb. And also, another color I quite dislike. And a girly. I won't never buy clothes in that color. The word is clothes, clothes. But the in color is right. So, whoa, but what's what? I won't never. I miss that. Hang on a second. So, another color I'm quite dislike will be kind of girly. I won't never. Okay, I won't ever buy clothes in that color either. Yeah, because this is a negative, so this has to be either. I clothes in that colors too. Um, so I won't buy any color either. So. The phone is still on. <laughs> I love it. Uh, pink is another color that I dislike. Again, why put the answer at the end? Are colors important to you? <laughs> if I look at this again, there's no clear answer in the beginning. Um, well. <clears throat> From my understanding, color is actually the basic pigments um, of different substance, right? Okay, so he's explaining what colors are. I mean, I guess it's true, there are color pigments, but the question is not explain what colors are. So, it's the way for me to understand whether they are dangerous or not? They. Is they the color? Is they the pigments? Or maybe the features of themselves. And besides... The features of themselves. The features of themselves. Nope. I don't understand what that means. It's the way for me to understand the world. I just cannot imagine a world without color. Okay, so he wants us to guess what the color is. A world without colors. Was it blue? What that would be like. Um, therefore, color would be extremely essential for me. What Are colors important to you? Um, well... Okay, looking at this again, there's no clear answer in the beginning. <clears throat> From my understanding, color is actually the basic pigments. Okay, colors are basic pigments, which is true, but he's just defining colors now. Um, of different substance, right? Different substances. Different substances. Substances are countable. So, as the way for me to understand whether they are dangerous or not? What does the they refer to? Does the they refer to the color or the substances or the pigments I don't know I don't know which of them are dangerous are there colors that are inherently dangerous stand whether they are dangerous or not hmm. or maybe the features of themselves or maybe the features of themselves I don't know what that means 
is the themselves the color. There are too many pronouns going on here that I cannot, I don't understand. I, I missed what this is connected to. I, I, I missed the whole point of this sentence. And besides, it's the way for me to understand the world. Mm -hmm. I just cannot imagine a world without color. That's a good point. Yeah. Okay. The world would be very different. What that would be like. Hmm. Um, therefore, color would be extremely essential for me. Okay. And again, we have the answer right at the end. Were colors important to you when you were a child? Um, so, as far as I remember, um, when I was a child, um, I was quite like insensitive to color. Insensitive to color. Okay, I guess that could be correct, but I don't know if he means indifferent to color. Maybe indifferent. Indifferent means like you don't care about color, it's not important to you. But if you are insensitive to color, it means the color doesn't have an effect on you. Now, I don't know which one he means. I'm guessing indifferent, but let's see. Um, well, therefore, it would be a way. But now he's using wood to talk about the things that happened in the past. For me to develop my eyesight. He developed his eyesight through color. Is this possible? And also the sense, um, sensitivity for uh, the pigments around surround me. The pigments surrounding me. But I, I don't know what this means. What is he saying? Um, and also, I will be quite like in. I'll be. He's talking when he about when he was a child. Didn't know a lot about the word itself. It's world about the world, not the word. The world. Didn't know a lot about the word itself, and also colors would be a way for me to find out. Uh, the, uh, the the places um, which I live. Colors would be a place for me to find out about the colors would be a way for me to find out the places where I live. What does that mean? Like he recognized the color of his home when he came home from school? Well, so I would believe it's really important for me. It is. No, it was, was when you were a child. They were really important to me when I was a kid. All right. When you were buying something, is the color important to you? Mm -hmm. Well, so, mm, basically, the things I'm going to buy means... The things I'm going to buy means... Mm, that's not right. The things I'm going to buy means I would use it quite frequently. Well, why? You can buy something and just use it once. Well, um, therefore, the colors of it not only impact myself, uh, maybe my mood, all right, and also that would um, give certain impressions for... The phone is still on. <laughs> oh, good grief. Um, my friends, maybe whoever sees I'm using it. Okay, so... The color affects his mood, but it also creates a certain impression among the people who see him using the product that he bought. Sees I'm using it, right? Well, therefore, they would also could distinguish, maybe tell my character, not tell your character from a color. Now that's fine, but maybe you throw in an example here. What did he say his favorite color was? Yellow, right? So if people see you using yellow whatever what do they think about your character so my um, taste on that color okay for taste the preposition is in my taste in that color well so um, it's really important to me when I purchase and doing the purchasing uh, I love the phone turn up the volume on the phone why don't you um, you don't do pur purchasing the color you don't buy the color <laughs> You buy things in a certain color. Okay, I didn't see any examples here, so it's difficult for me to know what he's exactly trying to say. The color. Do you usually wear clothes in your favorite color? Again, it's clothes. Clothes. Um, well, so... Personally? Yes, personally, because the question says you, you, 
you don't need to say personally when you're talking about yourself well not when you're talking about yourself when the question specifically asks about you we know it's personal for those clothes I wear it would I wear I wear um, some of the garments that I put on myself to protect my body is he defining things again is he defining clothes this time you don't need to define what clothes are the examiner is aware of that and also to show my personality Good point. Well, so um, that would be a way for to just impact maybe to lighten myself t um, on the mood okay so it's a way to lighten my mood to lighten my mood well um, and also that could tell others what my uh, characteristic characteristics are okay and it lets other people know my personality example example well so I would definitely wear my favorite color which is what is it still yellow why not talk about your favorite color then and how it shows your personality like if you like yellow does that mean you're a sunny person is color very important to you when you are buying clothes so for the clothes I'm going to buy for sure I would dress them quite a frequently oh my goodness no you can only dress people you can dress yourself but you can't dress clothes you can wear clothes the clothes I'm going to buy like in the future so the clothes I buy I don't even know how to rephrase this I regularly wear my clothes <laughs> I don't know what the point of this is I regularly wear my clothes <laughs> that's the less I can come up with and also it will be a way to show myself um, maybe to represent <coughs> my personality okay so the clothes I regularly wear express my personality All right. Um, yeah, so therefore it would be very important to me mm -hmm. or it would be just a waste of money What it's either important or it's a waste of money But These things are so different in meaning Something not be either important or it's a waste of money the same thing. What is the it here? What does this mean? Is he talking about the clothes? I don't know I mean in this guy's mind when he uses pronouns he just assumes that we know what the pronoun refers to but I really can't tell because there are so many nouns here before the pronoun so what is the pronoun referring to I can't tell you prefer light or dark color S colors right. so light color there are um, actually clothes, maybe mm, those colors which represent certain outgoing feelings, and also in the hot summer. Mm. Outgoing feelings? <clears throat> uh, people can be outgoing, feelings cannot be outgoing. So Is he trying to say what is he trying to say colors okay so colors might represent an outgoing personality represent certain outgoing feelings and also in the hot summer mm -hmm. wearing clothes in light color wearing light colored clothes wearing light colored clothes would give me a certain a just bad chance to I don't know what that word is what is he saying there give me a certain a just bad chance nope I don't know to reduce the body heat by which okay, so it keeps you cool by reflecting the sunshine back in the sunshine but um, well therefore I do prefer it light color I don't know why that's in the past tense. I prefer light colors. Are there any colors have 
that have a special meaning here in China? Well, that's one hell of a question. Considering that in the IELTS test, they ask the questions to candidates from all over the world. <laughs> Why would they ask about China? So, um, well, so um, from my standpoint of view, my standpoint of view, my point of view, or my standpoint. But don't put the two together. Standpoint or point of view. China is a traditional country that with a lot of. Uh, There's no that. A traditional country with a lot of festivals and holidays. Festival and also holidays, and in each one of them, mm -hmm. one color will be kind of popular. And okay, again, there's no of. It's an adjective. So used quite frequently to decorate the uh, uh, maybe the celebrative scenes. Okay, I don't know what the celebrated thing is. So maybe throw in an example at this point. Celebration sites would be red, for red represent a certain um, happy and lucky theme here in China. Celebrated site, a uh, celebration site, the celebration site, celebration site, huh? Why not say the celebration venue? And again, how about an example? What kind of venues are? What venues are red? Because to be honest with you, I can't think of any. What red venues? I don't. I really don't know. Um, happy and lucky sitting here in China for an ancient time. We usually we killed animals to oh worship gods. Uh, worship gods. I think it's like to. Ew. Okay, blood. Okay, so offer. <laughs> the word is offer. So we offer the gods their blood. Wow, did that happen? I don't know. But anyway, it's not worship, it's offer. With the if you give the god something, that's an offering. And the verb is offer. But, and however, after civilization, we couldn't do that anymore. Well, therefore, mm -hmm. we used the color red to replace it. Wow, that's kind of interesting. I honestly had never heard that before. Well, so that's why it has those kind of special meaning. Mm -hmm. And besides another color, uh, would be quite like um, important and also only the royal family in the past mm -hmm. uh, could I mean look at this here royal family is pretty good you talk about the emperor and his family uh, could use it it represents a certain classy and okay so now we have to guess the color again <laughs> but I know the color it's purple isn't it so um, superior feeling oh no this is China what is it yellow Okay, well, let's look at the words he's saying here. It represents a certain classy. Classy is an adjective. So it represents, what, nobility? I think it's the word he's looking for. It represented nobility or it represents uh, nobility. Nobility is an adjective that you can use when you talk about the royalty. Uh, so it's the um, yellow. Oh, not purple. <laughs> All right. So those are the colors that are kind of um, uh, special here. Okay, so those are the colors that are special in our culture. In our culture. What mm. color would you choose to paint the walls of your room? Walls. Right. Um, so room or my bedrooms are places which I would spend a lot of time in there. Mm. Okay, so my bedroom is a place where I spend a lot of time. To do some relaxation, to relax, or even um, just to study. Whether for uh, the colors that I to study, whether for the colors. What is he saying? Is he studying the colors? That can't be right. We choose to paint the wall. Should be quite <laughs> again with the phone. Uh, warm, also. Uh, it would help me to get a reflection impressions okay now he's just saying words these words don't mean anything what is happening here <clears throat> the warm part i understand but this part and also would help me to and also um, it would help me to get a reflection impressions nope I don't know does he mean 
Nah, I don't know. I don't want to guess. It's too hard to understand. Well, but anyway, the word is reflection. Reflection. Not reflection. Reflection. Light yellow or maybe white. Hmm. Do you think different types of people like different colors? Uh, well, so in my opinion, different types of people means individuals that they have different gender. <laughs> Well, it's true. <laughs> yeah, people have different genders. Gender, um, therefore they would have different preferences and also they might in different ages, right? This would prove... Okay, so there are people of different genders and there are people of different ages. Princess, and also they might in different... They are of different ages. Just right. This would prove that they also have different kinds of. Um, well, I don't know if it proves. <laughs> I don't know if it proves anything. Uh, so people, people, people. <laughs> there are people of different genders. There are people with different of different ages. There are people with different experiences. Experiences. Mm -hmm. um, all of those factors would cause the different preference on. The so these factors might lead to them preferring different colors. Their um, choice when it comes to color. Well, when it comes to color, yeah. So um, <coughs> definitely different people or maybe different um, preference they would have the uh, option. No, no, no. What is going on at the end? Now the answer is really falling apart. Because he's kind of saying the same thing. So different people would choose different colors. Why don't I don't say that? What is going on here? Or maybe different preferences they would have. What does this they refer to? Because the previous noun is preference. Because that's how pronouns work. This pronoun refers to the preceding noun, which is preference. But that doesn't make sense. A preference, they would have the... Uh, options on um, barriers of the word is various various not barriers colors as well no I don't know what he's saying uh, there are some good ideas here about the gender and the age and the different experiences but it just doesn't tie together it's kind of a mess you could have said that much more simply there are people of different genders different ages different experiences yeah of course people will have different choices in color because all those factors a choice uh, all those factors uh, have an influence on their preferences. Maybe that's what he wanted to say there.